god. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Could it be any quieter? the Eternal is nowhere to be found. Queen Marika the Eternal. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shard of the Elden Ring. Hmm. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Ew. A war from which no lord arose. I mentioned Godwin earlier. Wasn't that part of... Wasn't a Godwin and Souls? Leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon Othnia, the all-knowing... Those ears? Are those ears in there? Oh my god. The imagery. Everyone gets cool names except the Dung Eater? Yeah. And one other whom Grace would again bless. Purple McGurk of no renown. <laughs> Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become. The Elden Lord. Okay. Haha, <laughs> Prophet says I'd move that death label all over more to allow more digits. <laughs> in due time, in due time. <laughs> uh, EMC Kicks, thanks for following. All right, a great opening. Um, so, is this... Um, does, does the lore tie in with... Dark Souls lore at all? Because, I don't know. Godwin? They mentioned Godwin. I thought that was a... No, it doesn't? Okay. All right. I'll just start it similarly. And these people don't necessarily indicate that I'm playing online because I thought I, sw I switched that off. Wrong button! Gwyn was in Dark Souls. Okay, so not Godwin. Okay. No difficulty slider. Um. 
and just make sure that that's switched off. Oh, they start you at level nine. That's always so weird to me. Uh, I am playing offline. Okay. It is off, but it says launch setting. Choose whether to launch the game and off. Yeah, I guess it's offline, right? There's a stab. Smash. Roll around. Oh, I'm fat rolling already. You'd have to restart. Is this online? Can you guys tell me? Time for Elden Ring. So this is... If I'm seeing these messages, I'm online. Alright. Hold on. Let's, let's just correct it. Um... And that's all we have time for today, gang. Yeah. If I'm worried about invasions, I don't want to see the messages from other players telling me about traps or anything like that. I don't like that stuff. Um. Okay, so how do I close the app? Anybody know how to close an app on a PS5? It says offline now? Okay. Oh yeah, you're right, right there. Sweet! Purple McGurk. There we go. Most player messages contain no useful data. I don't like what it does to my to my brain. It's that's flat out how it is. It'll I'll read something, and I'll be like, well, they could just be trolling. Well, they could be warning me, and then it scrambles my brain, and I don't know what to do. And yeah, so I'd rather not have that. There's already enough voices in my head without that. Ah, see, look, a much cleaner room. See? All right, what's going on over here? Pillage remains? Read message. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as the Elden Lord. Okay. Those are the only two options? To pillage or not to pillage? All right, we'll pillage. <laughs> Finger! Did that work? What did that do? Oh! Oh! Literally a finger! <laughs> Death's cold finger! <laughs> okay! Alright. Game giving you the finger already. With the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bows, armor, bolts, blah, blah, blah. You can equip up the three armaments each to your left and right hands. These action, the actions each armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Okay. What was the thing I just got? It's a finger. Um... Uh... Oh, it's an item for online play. Okay. Oh, you use that to write messages? Great. That's great. I used the gyroscope emote. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. Another door. I wonder what I need to do to stop fat rolling. Uh, take off my pants. Here we go. Yes! That's better. First thing he does, takes off his pants. You know it's gonna be a party. When you're holding triangle, moving the cursor... Oh, moving the control... Hold triangle, move the controller. It's an emote. Oh, okay. Yay! Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, pants are overrated anyway. 
Sweet. Jump. What are you doing? Open the door. I didn't do that, I swear. Ooh, that is a pretty tree. Wow. The Chapel of Anticipation. Destroy everything. I will destroy it all. Okay, why every time do I tap triangle, does it actually do an emote? If I just tap it. That's really weird. Door is blocked shut. Okay, controls the camera. You can remove them from gyro and options. I probably have to. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, is it going to be a button setting? Let me know if you guys see something because I can't always interpret these menus fast. Um... Attack, camera controls, switch item. All right. No, oh, that all repeated it. Go back in game, press start, navigate to the right side. Okay. Remove the emotes on the motion controls. Oh, over here. Oh, okay. Remove, 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 remove. There we go. Thank you. You're so bad at this game, you die during character creation? Sounds like something I would do. Oh! That was almost number one! That was almost number one! Not quite. Not quite. It's too early for that. Oh, I don't like the way he holds his shield. I guess it, I guess that's right. Just looks weird. All right. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm like sweating. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good number one. It would have been. It would have been. Oh. Man, and I'm, I'm thinking back to like Dark, my first time playing Dark Souls 3 and how the beginning of the game was kind of really brutal. Really brutal. I remember that lizard, that shock lizard off to the right, like of the very first starting area. I think I beat that before moving on too. But it was responsible for a good like 20 deaths like right away. Hey, free sword. All right, so there's a big castle over there. We got a big statue over here. A woman. Is that a snake? I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Grafted Scion. 
Whoa, what about like a... No, 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 no. I don't even know how to heal. How about like a skeleton first? Like a little skeleton zombie? Oh, good, I missed. Okay. It's kind of like Bloodborne, where they kill you with the werewolf, like, right away. Yeah, that's a forced death. I'm sure that's beatable. Yeah. But not by most people. <laughs> he took my pants! Okay. It's a horse. It's a, it's a horse with horns. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. Can I have your horse? One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. What's the Golden Order? one of those moments no much much subtler wake up <laughs> i was dreaming about horses and women like what one somebody took my pants <laughs> the flask of crimson tears okay the Flask of Cerulean Tears. One of my favorite words. Cerulean. Cerulean for mana, I would assume. Um. Switch view, switch view, help. How do I look at that? Okay, this restores HP, restores FUPA. What is FUPA? I know it's going to be like magic, but what does that stand for? Focus points. Okay, so I got one charge of that. And one charge of this. And this restores... This comes back every time um, I die? Or is this a consumable? Every time I die or rest? Or are these like legit consumables? What is this other thing? Memory of Grace. Lose all runes. Return to the last site of a lost Grace visited. Is that like a hollow bone? So you gotta translate all the items to the new names. That drives me insane. Okay, so uh, are runes souls then? Runes equals souls. Okay. And how do I use my, uh, flask? The cave of knowledge lies below. Okay. A display. I want that purple up there. I'm purple McGurk. I must needs these things. This is your first Souls game that you played, Danville? Nice. 
All right, Cave of Knowledge lies below. Hello. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. That seems like a trap. I want to explore up here first. Okay. Glowy tree, and I'm not going to be able to go in here, I bet. I was wrong. There's an option to display UI all the time if you prefer that. No, I, I like this. This is cool. I can get into it. And you can just hit triangle anytime you want to see stuff. Uh, I don't I just don't know what button is my t flask. I think it's square. Hey, Tin Whiskers. What's going on? Okay, so... So many people skip that part and wonder how stuff works? What do you mean, Great Hoser? Like, skip going down here? Alright, let's go down here. So is down the tutorial, I guess? I don't know. I'm so scared I won't be able to get back up. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, use item, switch item. Okay, so now we're getting the stuff. That's good to know. It's good to have a little refresh. This is going to hurt, though, it looks like. Oh. Okay, maybe not. It's nice and bright here. Sites of Grace. Resting at a site of grace will restore, okay, your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flask. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. Okay, standard bonfire type stuff. This is a site of grace. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Okay. Nice. Touch the grace. Rest. Actually, I don't think I need to rest, but we'll rest. Hi. Cave of Knowledge, early day, pastime, flasks, memorize a spell, sort chest, or leave. Add charge to a flask. Increase amount, replenish by flask, alloc... Okay, so you can do this, and you can make it so the FP goes to more HP, right? You can decide how many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. So if I say, hey, I want more healing. I don't even know if I'm going to need FP at all. Uh, increase the amount replenished by flasks. Use sacred tier to increase the amount of HP FP replenished by your flasks. That's the thing that I got in the beginning. Or add charge. No, I got the golden seed. Yes. Use that. Okay, now we can get five heals. Oh, okay, that's really good. That's really good. I don't think I have one of these. No. Okay, perfect. Sweet. Memorize spells. With the memorize spell menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal. Or, or, or. Not that kind of seal. Equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. All right, I don't think we're gonna do much magic. 
and then you have a chest with this menu you can place items that you're carrying in the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest if you're already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item it'll be stored in the chest automatically okay can i put that in the chest switch to chest oh um How do I switch it? Switch view. Select item to store in the chest. X. I guess you can. Okay. Nice. Hello. Our first enemy that I'm able to possibly beat. Hello, friend. It's a Schmitty. We've got Schmitties. Hello. Well, that's a wind up. That was a wind up. I was trying to par parry that, but I had way too much time. Oh, okay, okay. Do it again. There we go. Well, I don't think that's a parry. Ah, he's creepy. Come on. I want to practice. Ah. That's a really long wind-up. It's about three Schmitty. Strong attacks. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against upcoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Gar guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. That's so hard to time. Oh, you're pissing me off. Come on. There you go. If that was a main boss, you'd be okay with this game? Dodging. All right. All right, we got ourselves 50 of these thingies. What are those? Those are runes. So you don't lose souls. Can't say rip souls anymore. It's rip runes. Jump. Jumping is new, right? You weren't able to jump like this. Especially in Dark Souls 1. You know, jumping has always been a little weird. Did somebody just sh shoot at me? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm like, where'd that come from? Well, that's a shame. I don't think I have any way to get him. Oh. Oh my god. I got Legolas over here. Jumping in DS is more of a leap, yeah. Right, they didn't give me any kind of... I have a halberd. Interesting. Okay, something gonna jump out. Don't jump out at me. Acquire materials. In every corner of the lands between, you find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Okay. A row of fruit. I'm looting here. I'm acquiring materials. Hello. 
Each hand can be equipped to up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between. Armaments can be used two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Okay, and you can wield with two hands. Plus L1 or R1. Hello. I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I'm crouching. How did I crouch? Bring out your weapon, please. Thank you. Two hands. That's the one hand, dude. Aha! Okay. How do you like that? How do you like- Oh! That hurt me right in the face! Can I get behind you? Can I get right behind you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I guess we should drink. We can change the target. Okay. You're so happy they added a proper jump in this game? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to get used to. Can I jump and swing? Oh, you can. Oh, I keep crouching. All right, here we go. That was very acrobatic of me. What does charges forth mean? Why does it say charges forth? Charges forth! Just randomly on the screen. You'll see? Alright. 